Out with the manual, in with the automatic. Infrastructure as Code, or IAC, is an IT practice that codifies and manages underlying IT infrastructure as software, rather than through physical hardware components. Historically, managing IT infrastructure was a manual and difficult process. Professionals had to physically install and configure servers and other hardware, which is expensive, slow, and inconsistent. Infrastructure as Code enables developers or operations teams to automatically manage, monitor, and provision resources. The code is easy to edit, copy, and distribute. But, like in the software design process, development teams must control code versions, test iterations, and limit deployment until approved for production. Some benefits to IAC include speed and efficiency, as it's faster than manual processes for provisioned resources, databases, networking, user account management, and other services. Consistency, as software developers can provision and deploy servers and applications according to business practices and policies. And alignment with DevOps, as the infrastructure setup code goes through the same version control, testing, and CI-CD pipeline that developers use for application code. However, it poses some disadvantages. IAC requires additional tools that could pose a learning curve and cause additional errors, introduces the chance of configuration drift or inconsistent configuration items across devices, and places more responsibility on developers to write efficient code. There are two IAC approaches, declarative programming, which outlines the desired intended state of the infrastructure, but not the steps to reach that state, and imperative programming, which defines commands for the infrastructure to reach the desired state. Infrastructure as code tools configure and automate the provisioning of infrastructure. Common IAC tools include AWS CloudFormation, Red Hat, Ansible, Chef, and Puppet, among others. While IAC gives IT pros flexibility in their automation, DevOps scripting automates specific static steps. Click the link above or in the description below to learn how they work together in practice. Does your organization use IAC? With what tools? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to hit that like button.